Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and I work as a life coach, a relationship coach, health coach, healing, prevention, repairing, physical body, sickness and disease, etc. I help with conscious parenting and I am the founder of a herb store called HigherSelfHerbs.com, Higher Self. And I've written two books so far, and I'm making my third one at the moment. So all of that sounds really good, but at the end of the day, I'm ultimately the same as you and everybody else, which is a human and a divine being. And I'm a student and a teacher, a learner from everybody, including yourself. So in this video, um, I want to talk about expectations and when is it good or bad to have expectations. When, how do expectations serve us and in what way do expectations of other people um, hinder us or cause us pain or suffering? In this video, I also want to, I'm going to talk about other people and in personal romantic relationships and the two different types of expectations that we can have and also attach, attachments, as I've said. So, for me, um, this has been an important topic because as I, I found in my own life that when you do have an expectation of another person to be a certain way, it typically leads to disappointment and upset and your own suffering and pain because ultimately the bottom line is, the crux of the matter is we cannot expect people to be different than the way they are or to be different to how they were. You, obviously you can't change the past, so you can't expect people to be different than, than how they've been in the past because it's already finished and over. But in the same way, we can't really expect people to be a certain way now either because by the time we, by the time the now is experienced, it's over and the new now. So the, 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 re, the now that existed a second ago is the past already. So that's sort of a little bit intellectual. But in a more emotional way of expressing it is we can't expect people to be different than how they are based on their pr level of programming slash unprogramming and their level of awareness slash unawareness, their level of knowledge and wisdom and their level of pain, trauma, wounds and how much they've, they've become aware of these and healed from them. So we have to be realistic. So it's actually unrealistic expectations that cause the most pain and suffering in us. Because we base, when we have an expectation, especially when it's unre unrealistic or unreasonable, um, we usually, it comes with a sense of demanding in our own psychology. We demand them to be different than how they are. And it's usually a selfish way, like the way we want, the way we demand and tell them, force them to be almost. So in a way, there's like a sense of almost like cruelty. <laughs> slash non-compassion and trying to force others to be better than they are or different than they are that meets our standards not someone else's standards but the way we want them it's almost like a child demanding something and they want it right now they want it this exact way but you know that's okay it's very innocent as a child but i also want to say it's actually very innocent as a human as an adult um olga maria says hi hey olga maria so as a human, human adult, we want to also think of ourselves as innocent too, because we still have so many parts of us that haven't been integrated, healed or learned. So we make innocent mistakes slash behaviors, and it leads to conflict in relationships. Um, so the three basic judgments, that, the core judgments that I've identified are to be judging someone or ourselves to be bad, wrong or not good enough. Now, this has a sense of non-compassion or like even cruelty to a degree. Just saying that word reasonably lightly now, I'm not trying to say we're heavy, cruel or anything like that. Not at all. We're innocent people who are just making little mistakes and learning. So this video is just simply to help us to learn, okay? So there's a difference between judging someone to be bad, wrong and not good enough or judging a behavior to be unwanted or unpreferred or to be a behavior to be bad in some way or negative in its outcome or wrong like basically how we like it or don't like it or not good enough in terms of its effect okay like it's okay to have like a wish a want a desire like let's say we go to a restaurant we, we order a soup it's cold and, and it's supposed to be hot we could say it's not 
like in a light sense of judgment is not good enough but if we judge the person to be not like bad wrong not good enough we get very upset but if we judge the soup to be not meeting standards like bad in its flavor and not, we wouldn't say a soup is wrong but it's wrongly made or not good enough in its flavor there that's very different then we just take action we don't personalize it to ourselves as if it's our fault we're not good enough or it's their fault and we judge them you see there's a difference between discerning something outwardly and judging something in its core internally so that's there's a very big difference there okay so getting back to expectations so there's two types of expectations just to put it to the to crux there's expecting somebody to be to be a certain way which i've just covered now we can't expect that to be true like even like <clears throat> even like in a relationship that we had for a long time, like years like with a friend or, fa or a family member or a partner in a relationship, humans do tend to expect the same thing to happen again. It's like, it's the law of probability. If someone's usually in a really bad mood, we probably expect them to be typically the same. Or if someone's always in a very positive, happy mood, like 99 times out of 100, we'll tend to simply expect it to be similar. But the thing is, it's okay to have a, a, a light expectation, which is like a basic idea of what's probable, which is a mathematical generalized expectation. But when we're heavy and attached to the expectation coming true, then it leads to suffering and pain within ourselves, okay? It leads to demand and it carries with it an inflexibility. So what we wanna be is light, flexible, and open and unattached. So we want to be open to life's comings and goings, changes and shifts, ebbs and flows, how things change, people change, vibrations and moods and behaviors change. Instead of being fixed like a cement block with a big, heavy, judgmental, judgmental heaviness. We don't want that. We want light, open, fluid, soft feelings and readiness to meet life where it comes in an unexpected possibly an unexpected way. So one of the best expectations is to actually expect the unexpected, which I love that, that quotation. And I've made a video on that too. Because yeah, I also forgot to say earlier, I've made like the YouTube videos, like the 1,600 now probably, on spirituality, self-help, healing, self-growth, awareness, self-awareness, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, creating the best relationships and the best day ever appreciating a loving life, being more conscious, being more attentive, being more focused and direct into consciously and deliberately manifesting our emotions with our thoughts and manifesting a life with our thoughts and our emotions through our decisions, behaviors, and choices. So the power is in your hands. We are empowered beings if we decide to become more empowered and it's up to us. Everything is a choice. There's nothing we're forced to do or to be. We're so free, as one of my favorite teachers, Abraham says, we're so free, we can choose bondage. Isn't that an interesting concept? So, getting, wrapping this up, what are the takeaway things we wanna take away with this? Just before I get to that, there's one last thing. The second type of expectation, which I was touching on earlier. So there's the expectation of someone being a certain way or, or something being a certain way. There's, there's also then an expectation of somebody doing something which is different than being a certain way. So for example, this ties in with ordinary general life. It, it ties in with specifics. Um, the other expectation of people being a certain way, it tends to be a bit more general, like I expect them to be in a good mood, but we don't necessarily expect them to like possibly hug us, you know, every single time or can't expect people. <laughs> To be always acting the same way like so it's generally in general so when it comes to people doing things it, it revolves around duties roles and responsibilities so we have to we need to have a sense of being able to trust or rely on people which is is a, a form of expectation for example we 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 trust expect and have a sense of reliance that people turn up for work that the shops be open, the grocery man selling the fruits and vegetables and the bananas, and that somebody opens the door for us when we knock and when we go home, <laughs> like we expect um, people to fulfill their role, their duty or their responsibility and just generally be kind of nice to a degree. Um, like 
if no one had any type of consequence or expectation or role or duty that they were expected and were supposed to live up to, then the world would fall apart. No one would be doing their things. It would be chaos. There wouldn't be a sense of coherency and working together as a team. Um, all sorts of madness would be happening. There'd be no sense of like congruency or interdependency. So that's a very different thing. Now, don't forget, a, a actual romantic relationship is a form of like a business agreement or a form of agreement or partnership. It's, it's, there's certain rules and standards and agreements we agree by. Um, so we might have to soft and light expectations that they be nice, like I mentioned there, to be something we expect them to be generally nice as much as possible, but we can't expect them to be perfect, everyone. So we have to be flexible and open, like I mentioned earlier, and be compassionate, live in our heart, and to be open and willing to be fluid, malleable, flexible, and to communicate and understand each other. Communicate for the purpose of understanding each other's wishes, needs, and hopes and desires. Okay. Um, a wish and desire is the same. So basically our wishes and our needs. So we want to communicate to understand each other's feelings and emotions too. Um, but then when it comes to a business type agreement, we expect our partner to fulfill their role. And that agree comes to like even parenting. We expect them to pick up the kids if we have kids. We expect them if if I do this, if I like, if let's say stereotypically, let's say a man is a stay-at-home person or the woman, as it's culturally no, normal, let's say the, the woman or the man staying home, doing all the cleaning, that's like such a busy job and looking after children, then maybe the man or the woman, the other person goes out to work. Um, we can't just expect, we can't live in a world where one of them is suddenly blah, 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 I don't, you know, not going to do it. Irresponsible, I like just, no particular reason, just don't feel like it. I'm going to go do this instead with my bunch of friends. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you. <laughs> so we have an expectation to be communicated with, works as a team. That's the way life runs and we keep things smooth and rolling over and functional. Um, but of course you have to be flexible. So if somebody, let's say, is feeling unwell or sick or too tired or they, they didn't get enough sleep um, or they're just feeling very stressed about something different, we need to be also allow each other to communicate and express each other's feelings, wishes and needs. So we can work together and create new plans and to be adaptable and flexible. So that's very empowering everybody. So the bottom line is to be light, flexible, unattached and open and to work based on solutions and caring for each other and living and loving in our heart to help each other out to be understood and to understand. Seek first to understand rather than to be understood. Because if both people seek first to be understood and no one listens, no one's going to get anywhere. So if both people work first, at least one person, like the the hero, the, the more the more person able to, um, if to seek first to listen and to understand, and then hopefully they can reciprocate once you've given them that beautiful gift of listening and understanding and empathizing. So, so this video covers about expectations that are either unrealistic or unrealistic or like import, like um, functional or unfunctional, that cause suffering or don't cause suffering, that are that are positive or unhelpful or unhelpful. So those type of expectations. It covers attachment to expectations versus non-attachment and flexibility and openness, which is 10 times, 100 times better. It covers um, most of our expectations, by the way, I want to finalize for people to be a certain way. They are unrealistic because we can't expect people to be a certain way, like truly, typically, strongly, solidly, 100% of the time. But we can have wishes and hopes for people to be a certain way. So don't mix up or confuse having a wish or a hope or a desire for someone to be a certain way with expecting or demanding them to be a certain way. Because we can only be what we're ready and capable and able to be, right, everybody? Me, that's like me, it's like you. So give compassion before hoping to receive compassion. And then it'll help you, the person, to give you compassion. Um, what you give out, you get back, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it's not always this way, exactly. You can't expect people to give you exactly what you give them. Because we can only expect them realistically, truly, to be the way they are based on a billion experiences they've had in the past. They are, we all are a product and an accumulation of our sum total of emotional experiences, our mental experiences, our physical sensational experiences. That's what we are, everybody. So we have to understand that, at least 
we can, and it's extremely beneficial to understand that. And when we do understand that, that's when we have much more peace of mind, knowing people are the way they are for a reason. They're not just like assholes. <laughs> We're not just messed up or dysfunctional. Everyone is a certain way for a really good billion reasons, a trillion reasons. All the childhood traumas and programming, that's the bottom two lines, everybody. When it comes to how anybody is, there's two main reasons I've identified. It's based on tra trauma, the trauma level slash unhealed level of traumas, trauma and programming slash how much you've looked at your programming and looked at your traumas and started to unravel them and heal them, let them go, resolve them emotionally, work them out, gain a sense of wisdom, knowledge and awareness on your psychological um, state and emotional state. So traumas, programming, that's what make people be, you know, upsetting or like not too nice in their behavior because they just program the traumatized so in my journey as i've identified this and worked for a long time in my programming how my behavioral patterns and programmed beliefs etc my limiting beliefs my perceptual perceptions and programs and beliefs based on what i experienced and what i was programmed with with society media and even parenting and friends and family and school everything everything anyone can say something to the programs you for example somebody says oh your voice doesn't sound nice oh your nose is big oh you can't do that like our money doesn't grow in trees all of these plants are seed in us that if we aren't aware it turns into a program and we have this thought about ourselves or other people our life and then there's the traumas like it's such a big other story and <laughs> um, yeah i won't get into that now but um i'm just going to read a few of the comments this live video on Facebook, I'm going to put it on YouTube. So if you're new and you want one-to-one -one coaching on anything I've said above and so much more, including health, herbs, detoxification, and family relationships and dynamics and abuse and soulmate relationships and high vibrational relationships, and give us a, give me a buzz, like contact me and we can work out a consultation. I never like to decline anyone, to be honest. If ever anyone has like, money limits i always like to work around that for sure as long as they're like passionate and truly interested which a lot of people are <laughs> um you're also welcome to check out my youtube channel and subscribe for like so many videos i've mentioned before and friend me on facebook um if 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 um, you want me to be do any like interviews in person or like talks or speeches or radio interviews sometimes i'm asked to do them and i, I really love to do them because i love people and i love to interact with people i love to share with people and to receive and learn from people and just have a nice fun happy time with people you know <sighs> i love life it's very special um, life is a gift it's the greatest blessing of all it's the biggest blessing to be alive because in life is all the other beautiful things like seeing the sky Right now I can see a beautiful sky, I can see coconuts, a blue sunny day, but because of the lighting camera angle, if I turn it around, you won't be able to like, see the lighting properly. Yeah, I'll, if, um, yeah. so do that, and um, if you need any herbs for body, mind, spirit, for helping you to sleep, have less, more serenity and calmness in life, less stress. Um, or more energy or greater health and alkalinity and free liver or any of your body parts and um, check out my herb store higherselfherbs.com all the links will be above this video um, um, and on yeah on my facebook so have a nice day everyone i hope this helped you tremendously i definitely hope so thanks for watching and sending lots of love from florida from this cool irish guy here <laughs> we're all cool the best day ever everybody life's short and precious have the best day ever make life special because you only have today you never know when it's going to go so that's the truth of the matter that's not that's just the truth of the matter enjoy your life nothing better <laughs>